All right. Welcome to Creations Nation. It's been a long time and we're back. So how are you doing, Diana? I'm <laughs> doing very well yourself. I'm pretty good. I'm I'm great. Um we were discussing during the week, like, you know, we were saying uh, things about the nature of our, of our reality, philosophy, esoteric philosophy, how you say it. And, and we spoke about the black cube. And if those, yep. for those people that don't know about it, we, we will talk about it. And um, I was showing you the all seeing eye, how um, many people that are, that are famous uh, use that symbolism, whether they know it or not, and I'm sure they do, mm -hmm. they have enough awareness uh, of the world you know to realize that uh, especially when they cover their eye they're representing something and uh, we will talk about that uh, since creations nation is all about uh, entertainment music and art we will be changing our focus not just on the, you know on hearing their music or hearing their uh, negative and positive impact to society with the music, with the movies, with um, what else? With like art, you know, paintings. We will talk about the whole purpose, like the true purpose uh, uh, of their works. You know, why? Uh, we're, we, we're gonna focus on more like the mysterious, the mysteries, the my mysterious. Your favorite part. Your favorite part, right. <laughs> so I love it too. Um, I, I like to seek the truth uh, to an extent. I don't want to seek it to the point where I become insane. We have to find balance, uh, uh, you know, between what is right and what is wrong. There has to be a balance. Like you can't just, uh, for example, break into a museum. That is wrong. It's best to... <laughs> find out what they offer, you know, go online or go into a museum with permission and, and see what what kind of facts or truth that, that they're bringing. So um, I love museums. I, I haven't been to an art museum for a while, but you, you definitely right there. You too. Um, I live in Philadelphia, so there's the art museum downtown and it has ancient sculptures. And mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm also uh, learning about Tartaria and ancient um, lands, not just through YouTube, but you know, researching everywhere I can. You know, because I do listen to many YouTubers like uh, John Levi, mm -hmm. uh, Lex Will is one. I, I like certain things he says i don't necessarily i believe everything that he says 100 percent, but i always look for something that i can research myself and i also listen to dane calloway and me um, as well you too and, yeah. and there's a guy there's a guy named uh, you like him because mm -hmm. he he brought he brought something recently about slavery and which is pretty good this video mm -hmm. And I also listen to oh watch Eric Dubai and in Spanish I mm -hmm. watch a YouTuber. I don't know his name exactly. Mm -hmm. He cause he keeps saying este es mente abierta. It means open mind. So I listen to that. Oh. I wa I watch that. La mente I don't really abierta. Watch you like YouTube channels in Spanish, but perhaps that, that's something that I would add to my list. And what, yeah. and it's called um, mi, uh, Mente Abierta? Mente Abierta, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, the reason why I like, so I check it out. Yeah, because he talks about ancient buildings and even recent um, uh, architecture and cultures that we forgot about. Mm -hmm. uh, but Creations Nation is is going to be like that now. Like we're we're trying to like put the mysteries and the music and the art all together. Now playing, <laughs> I was gonna make the pyramid. 
Which is like our passions, things that we both like to talk about. Yeah, exactly. And it's so hard to pick a topic because there's so many interesting things that we have interest on. So, yeah, but today we picked a really interesting topic, right? (laughs) Yeah, look at that. What does it say right there? Saturn worship, black cube symbolism. Yeah, I don't know if I if I'm gonna click on that one, but because it says, <laughs> yeah, Let, let's try it. So let's I see wanted, what it says. Oh, what it says? Yeah, I- says Nicholson, 1968. So I guess the reason, we, well, the reason we're picking this topic today is because one is really interesting. Two, um, I'm part of a iMessage group. And sometimes we talk about the occult and like um, esoteric philosophy, conspiracy theories, all that stuff, right? So yeah. one of one of the group members mentioned the black cube, so we started talking about that subject. And I remember you telling me about this um, like a few years ago, and then I had the vu, a word that I don't know how to pronounce well, or maybe because I'm wearing braces, I could barely talk. <laughs> All right. Deja vu, right? Is that how you pronounce it? De- deja vu, deja. but it, I believe that's French. I think yeah, deja it is. Vu is it French. is French. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, the memory of you talking about it and you sending me that the links on WhatsApp and talking about it came back to me. I'm like, wait, you talked to me about this years ago. So we started talking about that on my message. So I thought, hey, this is a very interesting topic that we should both talk about. So here we are. <laughs> and and this article is from December 12, 2014, Saturn, Saturn, sorry, Saturn worship the black cube. Um, I've seen these symbols. You know, I'm an artist, I, I draw. You also are a painter. And by the way, let me introduce myself. It looks like I forgot to say my name is Pedro, and here's Diana. <laughs> so I forgot Hi. That. Hello. Hi. <laughs> And there's a pyramid as well. There's a lot, a lot of symbolism. We've seen this uh, pyramid before on the dollar uh, bill, correct? I think that's the only bill that we see the pyramid, correct? I think so, right? Um, in, in terms of the Federal Reserve notes that yes, we call the notes, the, I think the, the, the dollar bill has it. Is the only note that has it, I think. I might need yeah. to do some research on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I never read this article. So it says here, you might not know it, but the entire world has been worshiping Saturn. I keep saying Saturn. Saturn the thing is, for. It's very similar because yesterday when I was reading about it, I kept reading Satan, Satan instead of Saturn. So, yeah. Oh yeah, and I'm a fan of the Lord of the Rings too. Look, look, uh, you know, Sauron. You know, it, I'm sure it, it, it was it, Sauron was a uh, or Sauron, whatever, was a real god. I'm sure oh, that Cyrus or uh, the Sauron. enemy. The, Sauron was the enemy of basically enemy of, of creation uh, in 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 oh, in on, on Middle. Middle Earth, a Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit. Oh, sorry. I thought you said Osiris. I'm like, what? <laughs> but you were saying I interrupted. <laughs> yeah, so the Lord of uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, written by um oh my guy. Oh. Tolkien, yeah. J. R. R. Tolkien. <laughs> yeah, he, he took parts of it from you know, he based it on on his military experience and also on books that, that he had read long, a long time ago which he was influenced by um the, this the the, the the author of conan the barbarian and and i mean if you look at the lord of, lord of the rings you see conan the barbarian so all these yeah. um all these all these elements they are based on reality and it, it says here you might not know it but the entire world has been worshiping Saturn, ah, Saturn, for thousands of years. The yeah. cult has never stopped, and its rites are still present to this day. Saturn, dubbed the Lord of the Rings, is the reason why we exchange rings at weddings or put halos on the heads of godly people. 
and art. And uh, when I study art history in college, I I remember seeing a lot of Jesus paintings with the halo. With the halo. You know, we all seen them in church as well. So yeah, and yeah. considering that uh, Saturn it has rings around it, if you believe that there's planets out there, which I do, I, well, I do. So no, I mean I used to be like that, but. <laughs> After researching so long, I'm questioning everything in reality. All right. But let's just say that Saturn has rings around it, right? Okay. Um, <laughs> and also, there's supposed to be, I think, another planet. I think Neptune has rings also. Um, and uh, Neptune, is, uh, ne Neptune is the lord of the deep, you know? So. And it's ruled by Pisces. That's you know. <laughs> oh, and I and I'm Pisces. Pisces. <laughs> Pisces is ruled by Neptune here. Now we're doing astrology here, <laughs> <laughs> which is not bad. I, I mean, we're gonna talk yeah. about all that. I don't I don't care if people call it pseudoscience, but science is based on supposedly pseudoscience. So which one is real, today's science or yesterday's science? All right. I mean, there's certain things that science maybe cannot answer, but. We're still studying, you know, the universe, I guess, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And our and our reality. All right. It says here that this article exposes the attributes of the god Saturn and the per perpetuation of his cult through through pop culture, which is what creation nation creation's nation is all about. It's about pop culture. Um since ancient times, sages gaze at the stars, admiring their heavenly glow and attributing them godly powers based on their effect on humans. Before the great flood, Saturn was regarded by all mankind as the supreme god and ruler of the kings. Um, occult researchers affirmed that Saturn ruled the kingdom of Atlant Atlantis. Oh, I didn't know that. And became the divine ancestor of all earthly patriarchs and kings. What in the hell? <laughs> I never knew this. Okay, I guess... Yeah. Oh, because these, these terms are in, um, these names are are in comics. It's funny how comics is considered to be the new mythology, but that's on purpose because uh, there's a brotherhood, just like David Icke said, and I don't totally uh, believe everything David Icke has, has said, but um, he was my earlier... Authors of conspiracy theories that I list that I listened and and read, but I, you know I I feel like he says some truth. Um, so the, there's a brotherhood of people that coincidentally they all say the same thing in different ways, but they all seem to agree with with, with symbols uh, that they're part of the same same group, same agenda. I don't know what the agenda is, but it seems like ru rulership is not it's not out of the question. So. Hmm. Yeah, it says here Chronos or Saturn. Okay, Saturn is Chronos. Yeah, mm -hmm. that I knew about. Oh, right, you you shared that video uh, about that. Um, I, I need did. to find that video. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, do, 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 do. I think I added it to my playlist. I hope so. <laughs> mm. Okay. Wow. Um. Was it? Okay, there we go. I okay. I I know. I know where it is. It's taking me a little, a little, a little time, but you can you can talk while while I look yeah, for it. Yeah, it's interesting how it how it says in Egyptian mythology, Isis is considered Saturn's eldest daughter. I am Isis, queen of this country. I was instructed by Mercury. No one can destroy the laws which I have established. I am the eldest daughter of Saturn, most ancient of the gods. Wow. That I did not, never knew about that part right there. I don't know who Nicholson1968.com is, but... Me either. But he, I mean, this is 2014. But everything okay, that says about the rings, it's something that might my uh, group chat we're talking about which which was very interesting um 
they mentioned the wedding band. Um, there was one thing they mentioned the black robes when you graduate. Yeah. And you wear the black robes. Uh, there was one more they mentioned. That I cannot okay. think about right now, but it'll come back to me. Oh, this is not this is not the video. Sorry, wrong video. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a really good video about the Facebook whistleblower, which it's already all oh, it's all over the Daily Mail and on Reddit. So Yeah. It's a good video. <laughs> which, you um, know, Creations Nation create I keep saying Creations Nation. Nations, uh, creation nation, creations nation is all about music, art, and the esoteric knowledge that they all carry. Basically, so we're not really into politics, um, even though it does cross I guess over. So, are we consider a political? I don't know what what we're considered. Right, right. We we're, <laughs> we're a a political podcast in this case yeah. video video podcast yeah <laughs> also <laughs> um i'm trying to find that video but it looks like united nations headquarters meditation praying pray, prayer room i guess if you could keep scrolling down on the article oh okay so i'll find it later but anyway that video it, uh, you know, we can find it later. Okay. Let me find it. United Nations Headquarters Meditation Prayer Room. Never mm -hmm. been there. Yeah, me. And either. I've and I've seen I've seen this on um what's that show called by Marvel? Um, Agents of, Agents of Shield. I've seen you know, and even in uh, 2001, I believe there was a like a like a rock, and supposedly. This this um, monolith. This looks like a monolith. Yeah, huh. yeah. and look at this. There's six a six pointed star with right because in essence, if you look at this right, the the Jewish uh, six pointed star. I believe there's six points. Um, it it does create like six pyramids, and if you look at the cube, it looks. It looks like uh, three diamonds because a diamond mm. is really a square. So, yeah, Gateway yeah. has a cube. Wow, can find that video. I'm trying to find it too, but oh, and Hellraiser, Clive Barker's Hellraiser has the cube. Oh, how can I forget about it? Yeah, wow, it's a scary huh. movie. Yeah, and then he talks about all other nonsense by Will I Am. That they featured the cube. I'm sure that, that that for those that are looking for this information, I'm sure that uh, they're called the crazies, even though they're showing us <laughs> these things. <laughs> Who's crazier? Oh, look at that! That's a video of what I am. Wow. But there's a lot of it mentions black and white. It reminds me of chess, the chessboard, and it has. Yeah. To uh, black and white cubes. Oh yeah. How do wow. you know too about the, the chess, see, the right? Board, yeah, the board has well you know how you play chess before, right? Yeah, yeah, I play chess and uh and checkers, yeah. I love chess. I never like checkers, I prefer chess. But the board is, you know, black and white and has squares. So, well, we should, oh, we and of play. course, the Black Cube of Mecca. That's something new that we were talking about yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah. They the Black Cube. around it like it's Saturn, like mm -hmm. Saturn rings. Like the rings, right. Right. That is, that is so obvious. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. And not only that, look look, look in the middle. There's two towers. Yeah. yeah. The two towers. Think about it. The two towers. Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. the, the, remember the three movies? Um, mm -hmm. where, are, where are you? I think I, I need to find you. There you are. Okay. So yeah, the wow. So J, J R Tolkien, he had Fellowship of the Rings, The Two the Towers, two 
And the last one is at the um <laughs> you might need to Google it. Um oh, yeah. go ahead, Google. <laughs> um, I don't remember. Is it the, the something dark? Something like that. Oh, the last king who knows? I mean, they're all so so weird. Black Cuba Mecca that they circle around it like Saturn's rings. And my favorite, the Borg. The Borg cube, which represents the black cube, passes by Saturn. Why did they pass it, by Saturn? It's crazy because when uh, me and my group chat were talking about it, I mentioned I mentioned Star Trek. I am a huge sci-fi person, uh, sci-fi fan, and. Yeah. I mentioned to them, hey, um, because they seen the next generation, but you know, with Picard, and I mentioned in that episode with the Borg, and I sent them a picture of the screenshots, and they said, right, that's right. How can we forget about that episode? You know, the the black cube, and it's you know, and the Borg. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We, I yeah, can't forget Borg it because that. The black that, cube that, by song. That gave me such an impact that um yeah that's sure it starts like the next generation with Q. Look at that Q. Mm -hmm. Hey, I never liked Q. He he. Uh, I just realized that Q, Q, you know the Q movement, and then Q from come on, is, isn't that predictive programming? <laughs> yeah, Q. Wait, you talking about the character Q from Star Trek: The Next Generation, right? Q. Right. You, yeah, right. you, you say that you don't like him, but I do. I always like yeah, him. Yeah, I wasn't really a fan of him. No, I, I mean, I, I love the I love the actor. I like the actor. Um, he would just always, you know, troll on the car. Right, and pop out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was a fun character, but sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, damn you, Q. <laughs> but the, I really, I, I always like the actor. So I, I believe he's still alive. So, yeah. Oh yeah, he's great. Oh, look, Santana. this is a black cube. Wow, Santana, California. Is, yeah, isn't that a that's a dinosaur? Denmark. Wow, uh, wow, and 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 Manhattan. I've seen this one. This is by um, the Fashion District, I think. Correct. I've seen and, that one before. And there's a bum laying down right there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And th th this is before COVID, so. Uh, I haven't been to New York for a long time, so I don't know how many um, homeless people are laying down over there. So, yeah. Um, Saturn. Okay, if this becomes racist, then uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna stop it. But um, I don't believe in racism. I mean, not all Jewish people are evil, and not all black people, Hispanics, or whatever are evil. You know what I mean? So, um, but I I have Jewish blood. You know, but but I I am yeah. against. You do too. Oh, you do too. But I'm I'm but I'm against. I mean, we're we're called crypto Jews or crypto Moors, and mm -hmm. the Moors and the Jews were considered to be one and the same back in the 1400s. So, right. um, but there's a reason why uh, these things are worship. You know, and and uh, and look at this. Saturn in Semitic. Civilizations. I, I mean, I, I just want to say, I'm not religious. I'm spiritual, but but not religious. I'm not into into rules created by man. I'm into rules created by nature, and and numbers, numbers, numerals. You know, math. Numerology. That's num numerology. That's nature. Astrology is nature also, but not. Mm. You know, we don't have to uh, destroy mankind. Because mm -hmm. we believe in one, in one thing, we, we have to, uh, you know, tolerate one another, love one another. So, strongly agree. Um, Semitic That's civilizations. Good. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. You were saying you were reading the Saturn and some Semitic civilizations. Sem we referred right, to the god Semitic. Saturn as El, the supreme deity. I can't even talk. Was represented yeah. by a black cube. Yes, I can see the cube mm. on the man's he head. Um, we can find instances of the cube across the world. 
Many esoteric researchers affirm that the name Israel is a combination of the names of the ancient pagan di deities. I oh, I says Ra and El. What? Right. I did not know that. I did not know that. I learned something new today. Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah, I knew about this. No. That's something well, I'm going to tell my group chat about. And <laughs> and in the in our next episode, we'll talk about Egypt. Let's talk about Egypt. Then we'll continue this. Um, this this uh, episode will be called the Black Cube Part One. <laughs> um, and it says here that the Greeks and the Romans also worship Saturn as a crude deity. Here's a brief summary of the mythology of Saturn in the Western world with the deposing of his father. Saturn became the ruler of the universe for untold ages, and he reigned with his sister, OPS, Ops. Oh, that sounds like oops, right, right, right. That's why we say oops, because it comes from that. Ops, who oops. also became his wife. What happened? I said oops. Oh. <laughs> Became he became became his wife. It was prophesied that one day Saturn will lose power when one of his children will depose him. To prevent this from happening, each time Ops delivered a child, Saturn would immediately, immediately swallow it. When her sixth child, Jupiter, Zeus, was born, Ops had him spirited away, spirited away to the island of Crete. Hmm. She. She then wrapped the stone in swaddling clothes. That sounds like Moses, um, you know, sounds like the, the savior Moses. Sounds like that. Um, her deception was complete when Saturn swallowed it, Moses thinking it was a child. Moses, right? Like wrap, wrapping the stone in swaddling clothes would be like wrapping the child in, 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 in clothes and, and hiding the child or something like that. I think maybe this. Maybe this is not the same thing, but it almost sounded. Um, when Jupiter was grown, he secured the job of cupbearer to his father. Uh oh. Hello. It looks like I'm alone. Okay, I'll, I'll continue reading. It looks like Diana. This. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, my cat was bugging me, so I had to take him out of the room, so. Oh, uh, uh, you didn't have to take him out, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know. Just because he was All starting right. uh, right. to bug me, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. All right. I, He's I very vocal. I'm pretty sure you, could, you heard the meows in the background, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I didn't hear anything, actually. Well, that's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> so, oh, that, um, that's because that, that's because our um, recording has a um, uh, echo cancellation, like it can't hear our own um, voices, and it has other things that like drowns out the background. I don't know. So. Oh, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um. With the help of Gaia, his grandmother, so Saturn's grandmother is Gaia, Earth. Jupiter fed his father a potion that caused him to vomit up Jupiter's five siblings, Vesta, or Hestia, Ceres, or Demeter, which is Surreal, Juno, which is June, Hera, Pluto, Hades, and Neptune, Poseidon. Wikipedia, Saturn mythology. Okay, very interesting. Oh, and look, is this supposed to be Saturn? Saturn and Satan. This, we will talk about this like in part two. Goat. How do you notice know? it look like a goat? Yeah, like a goat. It feels like Capricorn. Goat. Capricorn is represented by a goat. Or is it a ram? No, it has to be a goat, right? I mean, a ram is a type of goat, I believe. That's a... Huh. Hmm. But but I, 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 it may be that a family rams are, are, are families or something. But uh, we'll we'll talk more about that on our next episode. I mean, we run around thirty minutes. We we trying to gain a following that doesn't get bored, you know, for an hour. <laughs> yeah. So, but this is good. I I, I like this. Uh, we'll we'll talk more about this. 
on our next episode. Anything to, to say before we leave? No. All right. It and looks then, like the article keeps going. <laughs> When's the end of the article? Oh, Matter. look. Yeah. It goes all the way down, and I'm not going all the way. And this is only from 2014. Think about it. Like I know I'm gonna we're gonna talk about Saturn and Satan on the next episode, and right. um, there's a we're gonna talk about different um, writers that I've admired. Uh, you know, authors, scientists, uh, especially archaeologists that, that talked about all this. But in the end, um, we're gonna make sure that we we show how musicians and artists have embraced um, this very controversial topic. You know what I mean? Right. So, okay. All right. So now we'll see you uh, next time on Creations Bye. Nation. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.